Good evening, mortals. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, you can. No, stream doesn't lie. I'm on time. See, I'm right here. Look, you can see me and everything. How's it going, everyone? I'm, uh, I'm... <laughs> no, I'm not... No, I'm not Latte. Uh, we're playing some Stellaris. It does not seem to be loading. Give it a give it a minute. I was I promise you I was not a minute late. Also, Aki Binch, Aki Ambi, Nick. Hey guys, how's it going? You're all wonderful, and I love you very much. Thank you for being here. Uh, today we are going to continue trying my damnedest to make this fucking civilization work. Uh, it's gonna be a time. Um, how's everyone doing this morning? I'm feeling pretty good. I, uh, I just beat Final Fantasy all the way up to the current content. Now I get to do the same thing everyone else is doing, which is going to be fun. Nuke everything. Um, yeah, probably. Uh, we're, we're probably going to abuse primitive civilizations, actually, but, you know, the way, it, it is what it is. Uh, oh, Ambi, you'll be happy to know. We, uh, we colonize new planets by throwing big rocks at them. Uh, it's called the yeet method. It's a good time. It's a good time. Uh, this should, if everything goes well this time, it should work. Let's see what happens here. Loading. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Come on. Oh, did you guys hear that? Yeah, you did. A new experimental build of Seven Days to Die is released? Yes, I heard. Okay. No, it is not loading. Okay. Yes, it is. Aha! There we go. Look at that. A gasp. Yes. Uh, Alpha 20 is released for Seven Days to Die, so we'll have to do that soon, for sure. Uh, so, if you'll recall... <laughs> We are this fucking nightmare of a civilization. Uh, so, this is the... We have our home world of Kamino. Uh, ground ship grunts the frigid world. We'll get them this time, the shipyard. We've got wife fleet. Uh, construction ships are called magma load and uh, pressure cooker. Uh, the hive mind's motto is, how the fuck did we get this far? It really is. <laughs> Uh, established. Hey, we established a colony. Great. There's a big fuck-off crater in it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, let's see here. Well, at least we have, like, actual district slots, so that's good. Uh, have a good one, Abby. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you greatly. Uh, wow, the habitability is uh, 20%. Very cool. Um... So, we need to get rid of the lithoid crater? Is that possible? Is it possible to remove the lithoid crater? Uh, no. No, it's not. Not even a little. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, maybe if we get rid of the buried lithoids? I don't know. All right. Well, this is going great already. It, awesome. Don't worry about it. It'll get better. Will it? Will it, though? God damn it. Um, Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get Construction additional complete. minerals. No, we're not. Never mind. Um, pressure cooker completed. Oh, the mining station. Okay, great. Uh, go to here, please. Wait, no. The other one's going over there. Go to here. And we got a new tradition. This is great. We'll get geological logistics, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Cami, no. Wait, so how do I see pops these days? Do I just click on pop? Nope. Uh, why does it have a crater? Oh, because that's where we came from. Okay, that makes sense. Um, oh, population. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so we need a lot more drones. Like, a lot, a lot. Holy shit. Um... Do we already have spawning pools? Yes, we do. Is there anything else we can do to increase the spawn rate of our dudes? No. No, there isn't. So, shit. Um, 
All right. We need more dudes. Always more dudes. Also, do you what we need? We need more Lunch Lady Doris class Corvettes. Just as many as we can get. In progress. The snack drawer is being colonized. Guys, we're doing it. We're, we're gonna get snacks, shove them in the snack drawer, Research it'll be good. Complete. We have a research station. Upgrade, we'll take blue lasers, sure. We're not gonna use them, but we'll take it. Pop growth speed increase. Hey, weren't we just talking about that? Uh, now we'll take, hmm, probably ocean ecology management so that we can clear some more tile System blockers. System survey complete. Good job. Now survey that, and then survey that. Okay. And pressure cooker is waiting. Figazar is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet. Evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's uh, flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. All right, image them for the archives, I guess. Um, we'll get them this time. Come on, guys. Research complete. Nice. Mining subsidies. Oh, love that. Love that. Um, and then we'll take some zero G refineries. That'll help. Cami, no. We'll get a mineral purification plant, which will help with our minerals some more. We'll be doing good. Okay. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. Um, the magma load needs to get to work. Go build a star base, please. Our civilization is already bigger than the last one. We're doing great, guys. Ignore the L cluster Nobody gateway found. in the middle of our fucking place. Uh, we will leave that anomaly for now because it would take a lot of time. Oh, we found some volatile modes as well. That's cool. Um, hmm. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. I feel like you guys are getting very loud mode stuff. Okay, here we go. What's happening here? Research complete. Synapse and hunter seeker drones. Let's slap a spawning tool on it. Uh, all of our research just finished. Mother of God. All right. Um. We will get selective defoliants, and what else did we unlock? Blue lasers, great, 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 great. Ooh, physics research increase, we'll take that for sure. Quantum theory, awesome. Uh, zero G refineries, we will get powered exoskeletons for our rock people, so they will rock even harder. We discovered, uh, Oh, a Gaia world. Scientists uh, on board the science vessel Lunchbox has made a wonderful discovery in Ceruta 3. The world is an ideal temperate planet with a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere and a resilient ecosystem. It might offer optimal conditions at different latitudes thanks to its diverse terrain with biomes that are eminently suitable to most forms of life. Wow. What's it called? Ceruta 3. There's a Gaia world here, guys. That's awesome. We should definitely claim that. Uh, if we can get the guy world, okay. Construction complete. Now, chat. If we could claim this guy world without throwing a massive rock at it, it would be very, very good for us. Please <laughs> let us just do it the normal way. <laughs> oh no, they're definitely not going. What the fuck? Primordial pillar. What the fuck is a primordial pillar? The pillar, okay. Yeah, oh, thank God. Nick, you're... T uh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, upgrade way fleet. We'll research that drifting thing. Uh, thank you, Aki, Nick, you guys. I love you so much. Uh, Ships upgraded. We'll get more uh, Corvettes. Oh, we should stop doing that for a little bit, actually, so we can build a colony ship. We discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Ceruta 8. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. 
One of the massive sails is a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have been disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. Oh, cool. My mercy is limited. Complete. Spend it wisely. Oh, no. Uh, we found some Research aliens, complete. so that's good. Uh, throwing my vote in there for good boy points I intend to immediately use for further fuckery. God damn. <laughs> Alright, sure, why not? Uh, we finished powered exoskeletons. Let's get uh, exotic gas extraction. Sure. It's good to have exotic gases. Uh, and now we're here. We'll build research stations and for now observation posts. We will also... Several anomalies on the planet's biosphere has been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and is not developed according to projected models for a world of its type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be like, however. Who could have built this? Situation log updated. Okay, so guys, we have an opportunity here to reactivate terraforming equipment to see uh, if we get a better world out of it. But also, it may destroy our world, which would be bad for us. Which do you, chat, prefer that we do? I'm, I am asking you out of the kindness System survey of complete. my heart. Uh to consider your actions here. Uh, we have established the colony snack drawer. Nice. We now have a snack drawer, uh, which has docile fauna, a precursor, it's a precursor prison planet, it has complex organisms, and a big fucking crater. <laughs> I wonder why it got the big fucking crater from. Um, how much? Yeah, we need way more people. Look at this. Uh, yeah. Okay, colony ship needs 200 complete. alloys, so we gotta wait a little bit longer. Also, holy shit, look at this planet. Look at this world. Or this system, it's fucking full. We're gonna take that for sure. Uh, option, okay. So, uh, where is it? Uh, abandoned terraforming project. So we could resume it, uh, causing it to terraform the planet, or we could dismantle it, uh, which will give us some technology to analyze. Uh, so if you guys wanna wanna debate amongst yourselves, maybe decide, you know, think clearly uh, consider the options that you have at your disposal. Really con deeply uh, uh, think about what uh, what outcomes could possibly happen here. Uh, no, this isn't the guy world. Research oh. complete. Uh, we've got more brain drones going. I love that. Uh, oh. Okay, Nick. Sure. Immediately slamming the resume button. All right, great. Construction complete. <laughs> hey, we completed a starbase, so that's great. Um, please build. Holy shit, a lot of mining stations. Um. <sighs> oh, alloys are a district now. That's interesting. Let's build another one of them. I'd like to turn in my good boy point for further fuckery. It does... There's only a chance of Xenomorphs rampaging. Sometimes it makes a Gaia world or a tomb world. I believe there's also the possibility it goes wrong and just blows up the planet. Alright. Let's let's see what happen, what's happening here. Okay, we need more drones for sure. Oh, God. Um... We don't quite yet have enough for that. For millennia, we've looked at the stars trying to understand them. Proceed. Anomaly found. 
<laughs> it's a roll of the dice, but it's a chance the chat is willing to take. Uh, yeah, because you're not the one who's going to be made fun of when you lose. <laughs> the surface of this asteroid is littered with metallic debris. Most of it appears to originate from starships of many different designs. Great, research it. And we're building many observation posts here. We're just going to watch them for now. Just some passive observation. Later, we will aggressively complete. observe them. System uh, survey. Complete. So our options are dead immediately, soon to be dead, and alive with perfect health. All good options. <laughs> I fucking guess, sure. Uh, I want to know what the hell a primordial pillar is. The, I've discovered that ship remnants on T11F got there in a peculiar way. The ships seem to have intentionally been driven straight into the asteroid, probably from light years away, to test the accuracy of the designer's thrusters. As we deep scan the remains, we pick out one ship in particular, which seems to have reasonably intact propulsion. Let's recover that thruster? No, actually. Uh, okay, so if we recover the thruster, it would allow us, it would give us a free early game tech. But I think we use it for alloys, because alloys are really useful to get and really easy to, to, uh, to, uh, like, we always need more alloys. So I think we won't waste those. Um, Research complete. And, hey, we found space amoebas. Should we consider them easy prey or, no, fascinating creatures so that we can study them? An alien empire has established communications. And then we will take these gas extraction around. Oh, coil guns. Nice. That will be great. Uh, that's good. Everyone has orders. Okay, so guys, there's uh, there's two policies we can use for um, for observing the people of Gallusbury 3 and 4. We can either passively observe, just watch and, and study their, their uh, culture as it grows... We could also uh, aggressively observe by abducting them. Uh, we can uh, study live and dead specimens uh, after we abduct them. So I'll let you guys set our observation policy. I feel like you guys are probably the most informed when it comes to observing. Uh, oh, passive. Okay, we're just going to watch them. Well, that's good, because later I plan to abduct them anyway, so... System survey complete. Um, oh. It's more surveying. Oh my god, we have so many places to... Anomaly wow. found. Need to figure out the easiest ones to nab. <laughs> While exploring Lumendros 4, we repeatedly received a very strong signal. Our scientists claim that violent solar winds have been observed in the star system, but this signal is not from natural factors such as solar wind. Our scientists have determined that it is an artificial signal, and given how easily we found it, it seems that we need to study the signal. I've never seen this one. The first music. Let's research Construction it. complete. Not that they can fight literal spaceships. We need to know which ones would be the best snacks. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Um, exhaust management protocols. So... Megastructure upkeep has gone down. And uh, we should get one of these. Wait, why can't I get, am I just stupid? Where's nihilistic acquisition? What? I need nihilistic acquisition, where is it? Excuse me? That's pretty critical to our plan here. Uh. Hang on a second. Is there perhaps a uh, thing here? Uh, where is it? Policies. Ah, that turns chat off. Okay. Um, uh, policies, here we go. All right, orbital bombardment. Can we change this to, no. Hmm. Hmm, that's not good. That's really not good. 
Uh, purging is allowed. Balance production. First contact is aggressive. Yeah, let's let a month go by, see what happens. That's a good idea. Man, I really hope our whole build isn't fucked over. That would be bad for us. Okay, I think it's been a month. And it's still not here. Okay, that's really bad for us. Like, really, really bad. Uh... Research complete. Coil gun research complete. That's good. We'll take uh, weather control systems, actually, so that we can avert the homeless crisis uh, before it happens. Uh, whoops. No, 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 no. Hello, Queen. Good to see you. Colonize with a ship. A colonization ship. Uh, oh, this is also a wondrous planet with an extensive caravan, uh, cavern system. Oh, that's really good. All right, what are we naming the Gaia world, guys? Unblocks crystalline caverns. Wow, that's cool. Oh, and it, it just produces 40 energy per... Whoa. Kitchen proper? All right, all right. Uh, kitchen... You know what? Kitchen prime. How does Kitchen Prime sound to you? Yeah? Okay. Hey Queen, how's it going? How's it going? Anomaly found. We found weird gas. Special project complete. The aborted terraforming process on ground ship grunts has finally been completed. Okay, uh, after seeding the atmosphere uh, with billions of nanites, the alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the planet's surface. The ecosystem and climate have both been stabilized. Oh, great, and a new alien biota adapted to this climate has been introduced. As luck would have it, the planet is now a veritable paradise for Delta. Ugh! The new climate appears more suited to our climate, our kind than that of Camino ourselves. It turned into a fucking Gaia world! What's up? Look at this beautiful, wonderful place. And now we will build many things. Ah, oh, good. We're gonna have two guy worlds, that's crazy. That's nuts. What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. Uh, a barren planet, oh, remarkable. Might be because I don't have a UI mod to see new perks and traditions. But I, I'm i using base game UI. You would think that I would have it. Whoa, wait. Don't show unavailable? Yeah, show unavailable. Has it... Was there an update maybe that removed it as an Ascension perk and added it somewhere else, like as a tech or something? Oh, now that we got that colony ship built, let's uh, lunch Lady Doris the fuck out. Research of us. complete. FTL inhibition. System survey complete. Um. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um. Okay. Create the first music archaeological site. Recent violent solar winds have caused Lemendros Four to lose some of its atmosphere. It appears the signals trapped in the planet's thick atmosphere have begun to flow into space. In the aftermath of the solar wind, the signal was mixed with noise, but as the star stabilized, the signal became clearer. According to our scientists, signals are sent from the planet's surface. Archaeological teams are moving to that point. Curious. Extremely curious. Uh, we will take basic combat roles, and we found a new archaeological site. Well, that's cool. Construction complete. And we're going to go build a star base down there. Uh, okay, well, I could add the mod... Yeah, but to do so, I'd have to found. shut down stream. Oh, this really sucks. Oh, I just hit research without reading that. Sorry, guys. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I don't actually have any mods that change traditions. Aside from adding a whole shitload of slots. Which obviously won't matter much because I don't have that many. Like, we could get all of these. Well, no, actually we can't because we don't have enough traditions to do it with. 
Hmm. I don't think that's it. I really don't. I, um... I guess I could slap some Traditions mods on top of it, and then a UI mod as well. Despite initial difficulties when landing on the surface, the scientific expedition team led by this guy managed to enter the station safely. Following their suit sensors, the team made the arduous journey into the depths of the facility towards where the unstable energy signals were originating from. What they found was quite extraordinary. The, the irregular energy signals were produced by swarms of nanobots, which despite their age and lack of maintenance, seemed to have not forgotten their purpose. The team watched in awe as the nanobots, for lack of a better term, devoured seemingly useless rocks and stones, digested the contents, excreted the useless material uh, into a disposal box, and regurgitated the val valuable minerals into a retrieval collection. Wow. <gasps> 2,000 free minerals? Don't mind if I fucking do! Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay, well that sucks a lot. Uh, we're gonna build uh, that there. Um, do we got more pop coming in? Yes, but slowly. Um, how about snack drawer? How's snack drawer doing? It's still filling up, okay. Research complete. Research complete, cloning complete, nice. Now we'll get more research. Always more research. Construction complete. Might just be causing an error. That sucks. I don't want that to be the case. Uh, okay, and then go over there for no reason, and then build a research station. Good job. Special project complete. Oh, we studied uh, M class car. Construction complete. Good for me. Build a star base there, please. Anomaly found. We found a gas giant ship. There was a, a ship in that gas giant. He doesn't have any orders. Go back and research that, and then survey away. Okay. Oh boy. Are you sure, Nick? I did just get a uh, nemesis. Maybe that had an effect on it? All right, what tradition do we want here? Uh, What, uh, what uh, tradition do we want to take, guys? Adaptability, discovery, domination, expansion, bulwark, synchronicity, or supremacy? I would like to have discovery. That would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, streamer's choice. Fuck yeah, baby. We're getting discovery. Uh, because discovery allows us to science faster. We can brain dumb quicker. Fastest, dumbest, fast brain. More fleet. More ships. Upgrade, lunch lady Doris. And at the star base, we will, we need to upgrade it uh, so we can get more shipyards. Active scans have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage the derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity m must be a magnificent prize, and the science officers proposed a salvage project of our own. Fucking do it to it! Construction complete. I believe in us. Probably. Potentially. Research complete. We did research. Okay, we have more housing now. That's good. <gasps> Rail guns. That sounds sexy, but we want long range mineral scanners first. I know, I know, not as sexy, but if we do it. If we get long-range mineral scanners, then then we can uh, scan minerals from very far away, which is Construction important. Construction complete. Go to Parabim, please. Research complete. Uh, Ships basic upgraded. combat rolls. Okay, great. Let's get more research. That would be good. The wife fleet has been upgraded, but we'll need further upgrades. The white fleet is, is officially the most Ships powerful fleet upgraded. we've had on stream, so that's good. And you know what? Just just because we're gonna add another Lunch Lady Doris class ship to it. Special project complete. The very bright star will probably burn out in a few million years, which is very soon, as the fusion processes in its core are extremely fast. 
Uh, onboard solar collectors generate 150% of the normal amount of energy. Wouldn't be surprising, considering the radiation present, but it's interesting that they didn't melt. Let's study that, shall we? I don't think we need the money. But we do need the science. Every bit of science helps. System survey the more complete. science we have, the better. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave that in place. We surveyed a system? Where? Okay, we're good. <gasps> Guys! An actual colony ship, not a giant rock, is about to land on Ciruta, Ciruta 3. <laughs> Thanks, Saki. I appreciate Colonization it. Colonization in progress. We are now colonizing Kitchen complete. Prime. <laughs> Fastest, dumbest, fast brain. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a star base Research built complete. by Magma Load. Got faster society research. That's great. We'll do more admin capacity. That's useful. Special project complete. Um, is in a masterful display of engineering. They managed to gently raise the derelict ship on Lumendros to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Uh, despite its age, the ancient cruiser is in remarkably good condition. We've restored power to its system. Great. Did we just get a cruiser? Oh, baby, did we ever. All right, let's take a look at this thing. It's got large X-ray lasers and plasma accelerators, powerful shields, durasteel armor, hyperdrive 2, advanced combat computers. Oh, God, this is very powerful. For our level, this is nuts. Uh, go join the fleet, please. Watch that clip afterwards. I will, I will, I will. Uh, move down here, build another starbase. Anomaly found. During a survey, our scientists detected a structure on the surface of an asteroid. Great. Uh, ooh, and Lumendros is ready to go. We'll build a starbase over there next. Uh, and we'll add some more Lunch Lady Doris class ships. Everyone Research loves Lunch complete. Lady Doris. Oh, would you look at that? Destroyers. Complete. Uh, pause, please. Our researchers are still intent, uh, unsure as to the original intent of the facility. However, the design of the structure itself is fascinating and described as by our researchers as nauseating, frightening, and completing, uh, completely utterly impossible. Whoever inhabited the facility completely ignored traditional thoughts of design, giving rise to various theories as to how they may have built such a stupefying structure. Placing a research facility in orbit can better make us better understand the technology involved. Sounds good. Uh, let's pick up automated exploration protocols so that we don't have to micro that anymore. We'll also get uh, sensing tendrils. How can you truly know anything when looking at numbers on a screen? Our explorator drones breathe the atmosphere of each new world, feel the heat of each new star on their own skin. We experience the universe. You merely read about it. Damn. That's pretty intense okay um so we need to pick an ascension perk it doesn't look like there are any more options down there i think we maybe want one vision guys because it increases unity but we don't really i think we just sit on this until we unlock um until we unlock uh do you and I just realize we don't have here? Okay, something is very wrong, because we can't make psychic uh, rocks this way. I'm going to have to restart the game, I think, because uh, that's a problem. Anomaly found. Uh, okay, research. Mother magma load. Oh, didn't have enough to make that. Yeah, th we're missing some real important uh, perks there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to save. Um, I'm going to move us to here. Hi, chat. How's it going? Uh, I'm just going to move us to here for a second. I'm going to do... Oh, uh, hello. We're going to do some updates while we do large jorb. Largest, big, biggest large jorb. Large, big jorb. Uh, where is my thingy? Where is my thingy? Hang on a sec. Oh, there it is. Uh, chair. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to figure out what the hell happened here. 
Oh, I see. We have some mod issues. Okay. Let's fix that, shall we? I think there may have been a... Uh, hmm. There may have been an issue with a mod that isn't loading. I do have a UI overhaul. That's interesting. Uh, everything looks good there. Everything looks good there. That looks good. That looks good. Those are good. This is good. That's good. Uh, that's good. Those are good. That's good. Hmm. Um, bum, 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 bum. Sorry, guys. I'm just going through some stuff. And then we'll get back to it. And if it fails, we'll do something else, of course. Uh, that should all work. Yeah, that's... I have everything. Um, <laughs> maybe the first to say thanks, Obama. Yeah, right? Um, okay, so let's see about... Uh, traditions. So, uh, let's do this. Oh, no, not this. Uh, hmm. Not here. Sorry, guys, I just need to do one thing very quickly. Hopefully it will go quickly. How is everyone doing today? Okay, so where is what I am looking for? Surprisingly alert? Wow, that's impressive considering. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, my description contains a link to. Okay, I think I figured out what's going on here. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I already have that. Hmm. Hmm. Why is this being such a butt, guys? So I wonder if... Hey, Nick, do you have uh, Nemesis installed by any chance? Mm. Okay, I'm just going to try something stupid here. I'm going to try something very stupid. Let's see if this works. Um, you have everything except aquatics, okay. So let's try this, shall we? I'm going to turn that off, and then we are going to turn on... Uh, where is it? 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 Here it is. Is it this one, or is it... It's another one, I think. No, it's that one. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't do this on stream. I'm really sorry, guys. I I don't know why it's being this way. I th think that we have enough problems with uh, with some active mods are not present on disk. What? What are you talking about? 
It's saying that I have a mod that isn't installed, which is not the case. So I don't know why it's saying that. Uh, fuck it, let's try it. Let's see what happens, shall we? If the game crashes, then we may need to move on to something else, unfortunately. The problem with that, Nick, is I have uh, about a thousand mods to pick from for that. So that could be uh, problematic. Some I'd have to do off stream for sure. For sure. Uh, but I could do something else for today and then, and then come back to it probably uh, Friday. Uh, so that would be good. Yeah, I know. Me too, buddy. Me too. But, like, I, I have to do things that are going to work. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, if it fails, then we'll, we'll simply jump over to something else, and, uh, and we'll pick it back up later. Because uh, I do, uh, I am enjoying the Stellaris playthrough. It's like playing Stellaris on the hardest difficulty when I play with chat. Because um, you guys make terrible decisions. <laughs> Just the worst, usually. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for that. That's awesome. It's fun. Um, actually, probably according to the vote, I'd swap over to Super Auto Pets, which is cute and fun. And uh, a surprisingly deep game. I've basically been addicted to it for the last week or so. Um, but I think I think you should you should give it a chance. Okay, let's see what happens. So yeah, we don't have any new perks. And the, okay, so now we got them all. So yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. I actually had to uninstall a UI mod. That's what did it. Great. Nihilistic acquisition, baby! Hell the fuck yeah. All right, wife fleet. And that fleet, you're gonna come together. You're gonna go uh, orbital bombardment set to raiding. We're gonna take them from their houses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh sorry guys. <laughs> I guess it would be good if you could see it. Uh, boop. There you go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Upscaling complete. So, yeah, I think it was broken because we also didn't have the right announcement announcer. Huh. Oh, we found a service. Research marker. Great. actualized. Research actualized. Awesome. Let's do Xeno Hydraulic Mastery. Let's uh, combine the two fleets here. Why can't I merge them? Not allowed to merge this fleet. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, uh, white fleet will get one more ship and then we, it will head. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna send the uh, this one uh, over here. Bombarding a non-hostile planet will turn its controller hostile against us. Should we proceed? Sure should. Let's do some raiding, shall we? Um, and then, where is lunchbox? Snack drawer, rather. Uh, how do we mark this for... We could consume this world? Damn. Well, that's good to know. Um... How do we move? I guess we figure out how we move uh, ships later. What do you mean, oof? All right, here we go. We're back Upscaling in it, we got this. Complete. What's wrong with consuming world? Olds, that is, that is a mega structure. Outer gateway, huh, okay, interesting. And you're building a star base. That's great. It's great. Future market survey complete. Future market survey complete. Oh, good. That's a good place for market. Um, 
And we also got this place, which is gonna be good. Cause I wanna know what, what in the fuck is a primordial pillar? Research. Special project actualized. What did that do? Oh, mega structure build Research speed increased. Actualized. Neat. As one of our ships enters Most Haven, the crew is amazed at the sight before them. There is no star at all. In its place, a titanic space construct that seems to be inactive and shielded by someone. A mysterious spaceship of unknown design orbiting the above what appears to be a shielded planet is also spotted near the construct. It is now hailing us. Excellent. Uh, what the fuck? Unknown foreign entity detected. Beginning search. Entity verified. Hobsylvania. Classification primitive. Wow, eat my farts. We are the gatekeepers. Automated contingency defense system selected by the precursors to safeguard the outer gateway from idiotic primitives who can't help themselves whenever they see some shiny objects in space. How fucking dare you, sir? Under no circumstances are the outer gateway to be interacted. Failure to comply will result in immediate termination of all Hobsylvania vessels within vicinity. That is all. Yeah, what a fucker. What is the outer gate? The outer gates are ancient dimensional waypoints built to traverse into the out correction. The outer gates are ancient seals installed to ward away dangerous elements of this galaxy. The precursors have tasked us with the safety and optimal functionalities of these gates. The gates have been sealed and must never be used again. There's nothing more to be said. Reassurance. You are permitted to occupy the system so long as you comply with the directive. That is advised. Okay. Who is this precursor? What's his name? <laughs> It is unlikely that primitives such as you will recognize them. Yes, those rotting idiots in their coffins you referred to were leftovers of our old masters. They are not to be confused with the once mighty precursors of old. As pathetic as they may now be, the garbages are, like us, still charged with the protection of these gates. Their inability to carry out the tasks of their ancestors have displeased us greatly. We no longer answer to them, only our directive guides us. This is final. Okay... You are redonkulously powerful, so we're just gonna we're just gonna leave you be, I think. Yeah. Research uh, actualized. What an actual dildo. Automated research. Oh, cool. You haven't seen this before? Well, fucking welcome to the future, Nick. Uh, let's get condensed quantum electrodynamics. And now that we've got Sino hydraulic mo uh, mastery. Let's grab um, deep crust engineering. We're gonna we're gonna really get deep in that crust. Future market survey complete. Hey, we surveyed it. That was easy. Uh, automated exploration. Nope. I want you to go up here. Actually, why would you go there first? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Good business is where you find it. <gasps> Kitchen prime is ready. All right. First things first. We need spawning pools, and then. Look at this, we got a nice world. We got good mining districts. Uh, it's a wondrous planet because of a feature, specifically the fact that it generates 42 energy uh, just for existing. Holy shit, that's really good. Um, yep, I, I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, though the surface of Saruta 2 is blasted by cosmic radiation and completely devoid of life, what lies beneath tells a different story. It seems the planet was at some point home to a moderately advanced pre-space flight civilization, and our explorers found multiple underground structures, presumably used for storage, transportation, and shelter. The most significant of these is a surviving piece of underground rapid transit system connected to a vast bunker, presumably a fallout shelter. Inside, they discovered large amounts of hastily set up primitive stasis pods, still operational and containing state aliens in suspended animation. The complex is too damaged to reactivate it on site, but we could extract pods and bring them off world for more convenient examination and possible reactivation. Dispose of the helpless aliens. Lunchbox. Unity gain 731. Monthly food increased by 5 for 12 months. Uh, and also we get. Oh my god. <laughs> Eat them. <laughs> All right. Data uplinks it is. For eating those people, we got more scientific. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Are we abducting them? I feel like we should be, right? They're 
are being bombarded, for sure. I hope they we abduct them slower than they uh, get brought up, personally. I would really like to see more of them. Um, we're getting a fair amount of that. We're going to build another one of them. Uh, this planet needs some more... Uh, that. Oh, actually, do you know what else we should do? Unbury these lithoids. We've got several thousand minerals. Let's just do that. Lithoid monoliths. Okay. Research actualized. We did research. Now we can make destroyers. Okay. That is really good. And we'll get deep core mining for more minerals. Hey, guys. Do you want to design a, a destroyer with me? Um... So let's see, we'll do probably gunship and probably interceptor. We're pretty early game. We'll take big coil gun, many coil gun, and then we'll also slap a couple lasers on the back, but mostly coil guns. And then uh, bump bump, and then a couple deflectors, a couple more armor, and a reactor booster. Uh, we have no upgraded nothing. Uh, not pick it. We're gonna hold at, we want, what, 50 range? Probably? Nah, we'll go to 40 range. We're getting close. What should we name this one, guys? What should the, uh, destroyers be called? I rock your world. I hate that. <laughs> Alright, your world. There you go. Save. <laughs> uh, let's also design a fleet here. So this one is going to be... Uh, we don't want this in our fleet. We want only that. Um, and then we will make a new fleet of destroyers. Like that. Yeah. That should be good. And then we can uh, reinforce our fleet really easily just by clicking this button. Great. Upscaling complete. All right, we got that. Our population is now gonna grow. Should have retrofitted those other ships. What do you mean? What do you mean retrofitted? What are you talking about? I can't do upgrades. It's not a thing. Instead of deleting them, they didn't actually exist, is the thing. I don't think. Oh, well. Uh, okay, so what can we do here to open up some more space? They sure did. Well, fuck. So, write that. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Colossal Crystals. Let's unblock these deep fissures because they just they're taking up a whole bunch of space and these swamps actually let's do all of that great um, uh, can't really work on much over here now we need more market outlier identified well then research it and you are gonna go here. Have we really not abducted anyone yet? What are you even doing with your life? You're supposed to abduct them. Ooh, immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Kanam 3's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. They may be flora or fauna, hard to know. Yeah, we need more uh, ships bombarding, I think. Um, once you're done there, I'm gonna head over here. And I'm actually gonna have- Research actualized. Research done, okay. And uh, we'll grab fusion reactors, that's good. I'm gonna have you pop off and go explore this. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure that those space amoebas have probably moved on. But we will see. We will see. Research actualized. Uh, they did not move on. And in fact, are more powerful than we are. 
in that case, we will leave. Um, and then we'll get the white fleet over here. Uh, reinforce it with more. We'll get... Ooh, Mind Link. We need a research. All right, let's do more... Naval capacity is always good, because then we can get a bigger navy. You bought an extra retainer? Really, Aki? Does it look exactly like research me? Research actualized. Yeah, it, it is super cheap. Um, uh, let's grab research station output, because that'll make us research faster. A system has been surveyed. We have surveyed a system. Why do you keep wanting to go way the fuck over there? Just go over here. It's right here. You have yet to make them. Oh, okay. Make them look exactly like me, but call you master, just so I feel less weird about my thing. Um, do I make him look like Harshafont? Oh, no. Complete. No, don't do that. It'll only hurt you. Why would you go all the way through all of that? No, go here, to here, to here, you fucking weirdo. Outlier identified. Uh, okay, there's a vessel, cr vessel crashed into Research an asteroid. Actualized. Got some deep core mining going on, that's great. Oh my god, I wish I had this a million years ago. Uh, Corvette build speed and cost down, good. God damn it. Future market survey complete. Oh, what did we survey? After identifying an anomaly in the gravity well of CR-997, the lunchbox has discovered the shattered wreckage of an ancient ore super freighter buried deep within the asteroid's crust. It must have carried a full load when it crashed, and the asteroid's mineral wealth has been revised accordingly. Great. Uh, okay, now what are we doing? How's this doing? Ah, good. Potential we can market build something survey new. completed. And by that I mean we need to clear up some ships upscaled. Some stuff here. So we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of Let's get rid of this and this. Our ships have been upscaled and they need to be again. Ships done. upscaled. Now we're gonna go over here. Actually we'll send them there. Um then over in Kemi No, we will special project clear actualized. Out some more of that says, the star is a sad reminder that all things in the universe are finite. Once a shining star, uh, at the end of its lifespan, it collapsed into itself. Hey Blair, good to see you. While studying the exotic celestial body, our science officer became fascinated in particle research. Well, good for him. Uh, we we've been doing okay, Blair. We're even about to start abducting people. I'm very excited. Um, you. Automate exploration, please. Research actualized. Yelp reviewer, go over here. We've got increased naval... What's this? Improved production, capital buildings, resources from jobs, and upkeep from jobs increased. Arcane deciphering. We're going to take that, because purple. I like purple. Uh, snack drawer needs more space, it looks like. Oh, wow, and its pops are all full. That's impressive. All right, grow, snack drawer, grow. Research actualized. Now we got what? More research? Great. Research, researching. Research the research. Love the research. Got to research, researching. Let's get uh, quantum energy states so that we can get more energy. And also, we've discovered a new Research archaeological actualized. site. We should do some archaeology now that I think about it. Market outlier identified. Uh, efforts to map the surface of this planet have identified a strange mountain range in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Interesting. Hi, T. Incoherent screaming to you, too. Um, let's get fusion missiles. Maybe if I get more missiles, we'll win. All right, military, I'm gonna need you to go here. We're gonna go fight some amoebas, guys. I believe in us. Oh, wait, can we just... Uh, isn't there... Um, 
Our scientist has discovered uh, computing. Don't count your planets. Our science drones have discovered something rather monstrous. This mountain range has, we scanned earlier is in actuality the outer membrane of a gigantic egg. It's uncertain what behemoth could lay such an egg and what horror could hatch from it. Should we study it from afar, crack it open, or feast? What do you guys think? Uh, chat, uh, do you what do you what do you think we should do here? Crack it, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna use the points. Whoever does gets to do the thing. <laughs> Keep it. Okay. We'll just study it from afar then. Upscaling complete. All right. Fuck these amoebas. Let's see what happens. Competitors engaged. Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Wow, what happened? Amoebas are no match for a military. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, good job. Now, go over here and get me some fucking new friends. You have bagels with cream cheese? Oh man, I'm gonna get one of those later. It's gonna be sick. Oh, we have too many pops now. That's a fun problem to have. Uh, let's get some synaptic nodes. And here, do we also have too many pops? No, but I'll still get a synaptic node anyway. Um, what about Kitchen Prime? How's Kitchen Prime doing? Ah, uh, it's got lots of time. Aw, the enemy's got engaged once the landing. God damn it. Significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rocks look almost something. Uh, leader gain, experience gain increase. That's good, because our leaders are fucking idiots. Uh, let's see, the fleet combat went very well against the amoebas. Uh, we successfully annihilated the amoeba threat. Uh, okay, so finish surveying. Actually, you know what? Uh, research this. Then survey it, then research this, then survey here, then survey here. That'll be good. Go. Meanwhile, we're gonna build a starbase again around this giant thing I shouldn't build a starbase around. That should be fun. You're having cheese toast? That sounds delicious. Man, now I want bagels. <laughs> Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing onto the surface of Almach uh, Ia. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Well, that's just interesting. Snack drawer has completed its task. That's good. All right, we're now bombarding them, but are we getting some friends? A system has been surveyed. Research actualized. <laughs> it reads something to the effect of candle was here? It's strange. Who, what is candle? That's funny. Uh, okay. Fusion missiles. Ha! Let's grab ceramo metal armor. You can't have bagels too dense. Fair enough. I love my bagel. It is great. Upscaling complete. We made first contact with some Kappa aliens. I hate it. Let's send an envoy. This is in a black hole system. What the fuck is that? That looks like precursor tech. Future market survey complete. There's something about this singularity. Perhaps we should just stay a while. Hell yeah, let's do that. Cashew milk Research cream actualized. cheese. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that that's what you're having, T. I, uh, I approve of you having something that doesn't cause you great intestinal distress. Uh, okay, we're going to go build another research station right there. Holy Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph. That's, that's a lot of fucking amoebas. <laughs> what is that? Like, uh... Upscaling complete. It's like several thousand. It's over ten thousand 
fleet power of amoebas right here. <laughs> Why are there so many fucking amoebas? Who who brings that many amoebas to a, a Detritus place, huh? analyzed. All right, we got some research, so that's great. That's good. What uh Yelp reviewer is doing some research. That's good. That's good. That's good. He's reviewing them on Yelp. The snack drawer is upscaling complete. Up. Pressure cooker has completed the starbase. Great. Uh, now build mining and research stations, please. What's this? We picked up the readings of unknown nature. The signals seem to follow some kind of repeating syntax, which could indicate sapient origin. Should be investigated further. They seem to be concentrated around a single space station, though it is unclear whether this forms part of a larger spacefaring civilization. Continue. Investigate. <laughs> I thought you, you thought I wanted more amoebas to hunt. I didn't want that many amoebas. That's too many amoebas. You need less Research amoebas than actualized. that. Um, more lithoid monoliths. And we'll also grab all of those. And now we have ceramo metal armor. That's good. Let's get rail guns. Those sound fun. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, let's reinforce wife fleet, which is now at full strength. And then we will uh, not do that, actually. We will continue to bombard. A system. Oh, we stole a pop. Survey. Okay, okay, we stole a pop, guys. We did it. Rail guns. I love being rail, Jor. Probably no, no. Why would you say that? Uh, it's now on Kamino. Okay, we want to move this to. How do we move this somewhere? Oh, resettle. Okay. Uh. Where is, it's snack drawer that's our, our place, right? Go to snack drawer. No, do not clip it, do not. Oh, they produce food. Well, that kind of sucks. I was rather hoping they'd produce something else. And we've Research kidnapped another one, great. It went to the wrong place as well. How do we make them automatically go where we need them to? Snack drawer. It is snack drawer, right? Oh, we've already purged one. Oh my god, Upscaling that was complete. fast. Holy crap. We purge quick. Yeah, we are gonna build biomass reactors. Yes, I am a cure. Uh, or in some uh, areas, I'm also known as a Hume. Um, we also built a research station, which I think Think means that magma load is bored. Yep. We'll now go over here. Keep Upscaling kidnapping them. Complete. Space amoebas forever. A space amoeba is usually accompanied by a handful of semi-independent flagella used for defense and object manipulation. The amoeba and its flagella do not share a mind. The former using, uh, instead using RNA lace secretions to program the ladder for the execution of tax of middle in complexity. We can get regenerative hull tissue or just straight up some evasion. I think the flagella are fascinating. That's really cool. Uh, oh, and we got researcher upkeep gone down and a new ascension perk. Great, what do we want to learn? Um, hmm, I would like mind over matter, honestly. The rest of these are kind of meh. Enigmatic engineering. It's not amazing. Uh, maybe we just sit on this one for a while. Yeah, oh my god, look at how much shit we have access to. Yeah, maybe we need a prison planet. Can we change this into a prison planet? No, we could just eat it. <laughs> uh, fleets are in transit, that's fine. Uh, pressure cooker, go over here, build a star base. Okay. 
So we have to kill a lot of amoebas in order to clear that place out. So we're going to need another fleet. Um, hmm. No, no, we need to... There's a specific tech that allows you to... Oh, we've established communication with the curator order. Pray. Farm market leaders request contact. <laughs> Greetings, star travelers. We're the curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We're dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. <coughs> Hello, I am mass extinctions. We failed. Yeah, no shit. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. Uh, we are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Pray. Um, prison is where we hold them while we grind them into mineral paste. Upscaling complete. Uh, okay, so snack drawer. I'm gonna need you to build a building here. Uh, specifically, a bioreactor. Uh, oh. We resettled another one onto Kitchen Prime. That's not what we want. We want you to go to the snack drawer. They're also purging faster than we can capture them. How many uh, pops you got left, huh? Upscaling oh, just complete. tons. Oh, this is great. Hey, we studied a star. Yay, we studied all the stars. Research actualized. Now we have rail guns. That's great. I love rail guns. Let's pick up carrier operations so we can get some strike craft. And we've got UV lasers. Research That's actualized. pretty powerful. And we've also got arcane deciphering, which is really useful as well, but in a more subtle way. Uh, we'll pick up moat stabilization so we can get some explosive moats. And we'll also pick up... Uh, hmm. Wow, we've got a lot of options here. Maybe just to clean things up, we take frequency tuning. Just to get it out of the way, kind of. Uh, someone went to Kitchen Prime. Did we already move him? Yes. And then... Then what? We need more populations here. So can we get more? Yep, buried lithoids right there. If we, yeah, we do actually grind into biomass, which uh, at the snack drawer gets turned into power. <laughs> oh, we're gonna run out of food in three months. Ah, shit. It's hard to think of practical applications of the black hole. Despite the difficult nature of singularities like this, I must learn more about it. Only that way can I grow. Intriguing. Add three dark matter. Oh, shit. Tech progress gained dark matter drawing. That's huge. That's way far ahead of where we are. That's, uh, that's gonna be fucking ridiculous. Uh, cool. Also, I feel like we're in our own little section of the galaxy here, which is nice. We are completely out of pops. Or food. Don't care. An ancient installation of some kind has been located at the edge of the Dingledorf system. Its ruined state does not hide the fact that whoever created it was far more advanced than us. Preliminary scans revealed an anomaly in the center of the installation. Our science drones deem it to be the vestige of a much larger phenomenon. If the theory is correct, then the structure's purpose is to stabilize the anomaly and form some kind of portal. We can only guess where it may lead for the time being. Huh. If we can somehow restore it... And we found... The trinary system of the Dingledorf system. It's quite an unusual site. Littered with debris, it nevertheless is also filled with life, and multiple planets in the system seem to host primitive civilizations. Delicious. We are detecting an abandoned station orbiting one of the isolated planets quietly watching over the system. We are going to investigate the Dingledorf system. For sure. Found hive ruins. On board the science vessel Lutchbox have made a terrifying discovery on Tropolum Va. After extensive analysis, we have discovered that the fossilized remnants of this world seem to have thousands of unusual synapse nodes spread upon them. These appear to serve as massive biofactories that churn out the endless swarms of bioforms. These hive worlds, as we have named them, seem to have been living creatures in their own right, incorporating millions of bioengineered organisms. 
Each hive world was a perfect bio biological factory capable of creating trillions of small and large organisms through the replication and splicing that allowed them to adapt on every new world and environment they encountered. We can only hope these types of creatures no longer exist. That's us. We're that kind of creature. Check goop thread. Okay. Uh, boop. Let's take a look here. It, Aki, no! <laughs> what have you done? Definitely not Jord is an appearance now. Future market oh, no. survey complete. The, oh, Research we found a actualized. we found a shaft, a vertical shaft. So we're gonna have to investigate that. Got energy siphon. That's good. Let's grab amoeba flagella. That'll be good. Uh, the magma load ship will build some mining stations, and then we'll go over here and build the star base. Um, they report that the installation is some kind of mine designed to. <laughs> Ooh, I love shafts, Jor, bro. <laughs> Nick, stop. Mine is currently deactivated, but with minimal re minimal repairs, it can be brought back online. Should we repair it, disassemble it, or salvage it? I think we should repair it, get more minerals. Yeah. Research actualized. And now we have moat stabilization, which is probably good. Wow, dark matter drawing only costs 3,000 research. Maybe we should take that. Because then we get dark fucking matter, which would be really good. Yeah, let's do that. 28 months of research, no problem. Uh, and then we just unlock basic strife craft. So, you know, dark matter, basic strike craft. Both the same thing. Uh, oh, I just realized I'm still in my chair, aren't I? Sorry, guys. Let me just fix that for you. There, now you can see behind my big dumb head. Why is your dark matter such a weird green color? What are you talking about? It's the normal green color. Uh, let's get alloy mega forges. I think that sounds fun, because then we can mega forge some alloys. And we got another, okay. So I've added a few new uh, traditions. <laughs> Uh, so on top of adaptability, domination, expansion, bulwark, supremacy, synchronicity, unyielding, we also have archivist, biogenesis, cooperativity, desires, destruction, fury, industry, malice, mechanicum, might, nature, omnipresence, perseverance, philosophy, purposefulness, shroudborn, uh, spaceborn, submines, the swarm, and vulnerability. I think Shroudborn makes it so that we can get uh, Psychic easier. Pretty sure. You want Desires? Let's see. Uh, we are driven by our Desires. However much we can gather, we will always want more. Uh, when we take it, we get 10% monthly minerals. Then we'll get monthly influences increased if we have a whole bunch of energy credits stored up. Upkeep from jobs goes down. Starbase influence cost goes down. Advanced strategic resources, increased uh, output, and gain unity whenever a coloni planet is colonized or conquered. Uh, desires? All right, we're getting desires. Great, so that's working. Um, nom, 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 nom. All right, we're gonna have them go upgrade. We detected the presence of a pre-space civilization on Dimketh. They're in an early industrial age with electricity and internal combustion engines gradually coming into widespread use. Oh, good for that. Where's this? Where are they? Oh, delicious. They're right here. Uh, we are going to be out of food soon. Okay, a whole bunch of things just happened. We encountered the Mirish civilization in Dimketh. They are... Uh, they are in the Renaissance, and this, we found a precursor satellite grid. The world has hundreds of small precursor satellites and arrays in very efficient orbits. Fascinating. We're going to gain some unity and find some minor artifacts, gain a whole bunch of research and experience. Great. Don't worry about the food problem. We're solving that. Future market survey complete. Bluskov. 
Oh, that's this one. Okay. Um, I would like for you to go to... What is that? More space amoebas? We can go fight them. Do we want to throw hands against more space amoebas, guys? Upscaling complete. Oh, we've researched 50 uh, technologies. Our research speed increases. Great. Let's keep re uh, researching technologies then. More soldiers. Yes, soldiers are good. Alloy Mega Forges is good. What's next? Um, probably Ion Thrusters to move even faster. What's our fleet power? Our fleet power is 1.9k, but it's about to go up because uh, we're going to upgrade. Uh, go over here. I'm going to build a star base there. Outlier identified. Massive storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. All right, let's take a look. We're out of food, guys. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, what are we going to do? All of our people will starve. All those people that we have and care about, they're going to starve. They frequently experience massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. Holy Jesus. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, as we have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain them. They are interested in studying this anomaly. Yeah, interesting. You should build a couple single corvettes that just raid. That's actually a pretty good idea. Let's make a couple lunch lady doors. Research actualized. And we found another primitive civilization in the Bronze Age. Fascinating. Um, ground Outlier defense planning identified. is good. And there's a bunch of solid structures close to the star there. Hmm. Um, let's grab more administrati administrative capacity and base intel level. I don't know what base intel level is yet, though. Oh, hey, we've got an unemployed pop in uh, Kitchen Prime, so let's put down a synaptic node to start. How's Camino? Uh, we're getting there. We need uh, another nest district. Um... Oh, geez, we're about to have an unemployed pop here, too. So let's build something for sure. I've got a synaptic node already. Let's do... This place is good for artisan drones. Oh, okay. And agricultural districts. We could turn this into a power world using uh, food. Hmm. Hmm. But for now, we're gonna grab these moat harvesters because that's quite valuable. And we'll also unlock a bit more of this. So we have some space going on. The snack drawer is doing pretty good as well. We'll unbury some lithoids, I think. Let's unbury a couple lithoids. Okay, things are going well. Life fleet is upgrading. It's going to take a while. Upscaling complete. Just grab that uh, that black hole. So that's good. Add a few Research strongholds. Actualized. Probably a good idea. Oh no, we're out of food. Whatever will we do? Uh, hundreds of solar panels are positioned near the star uh, Dingledorf C. They are linked to massive energy converter nodes, which seems to have once been used to channel enormous amounts of solar energy elsewhere. However, in their current state, they cannot be safely reactivated or recovered. Still, we can research them. Oh, okay, great. We have a new ion thruster, that's also good. Let's grab, hmm, anti-gravity engineering, I think, so that we can get better housing. And uh, guess what else we have? Research actualized. Dark matter drawing. What the fuck are we doing with ourselves that we already have this? All right, let's get applied quantum physics. Um, oh, hey, we captured another guy. He went to gun ground ship grunts, which we don't love. Let's move them. Uh, resettle. Um, is he already gone? Where's snack drawer? Here it is. Is he already wiped out? I think he's already been purged. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I could also do some resettling to fill some spots. 
Cold fusion is not as good as dark matter. Yeah. We're uh, we're using dark matter before cold fucking fusion, so you know, write that down. Research actualized. Uh, okay, so let's grab thrifty, so the upkeep from our jobs goes down. We'll also research. Uh, hmm. Clustered synapses. Yeah, sure. No, you know what? Let's grab uh, space combat so we can get bigger fleets. Bigger fleets is better fleets. Potential market survey completed. A lot of stuff just happened here. A system has been surveyed. Ooh, we found another civilization in Dimketh 3. They're in the medieval age. Interesting. There's a lot of primitive civs in that system. Like a lot of them. Mm. Need you to build mining stations, please. Thank you. Upscaling yeah, exactly. Complete. Lots of food. Just a ton of food just waiting to Market be harvested. outlier identified. Large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around Rilmore. Alright, let's look into it. Oh, hey, and White Fleet is not done yet. Sorry. Research actualized. Have a good one, Nick. Sleep well, my friend. Um, okay, now what? Signs of battle. It's clear that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Rilor 6 at some point in the last 5,000 years. Surface on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts, and scans from the Yelp reviewer have picked up several hulks on the ground. Aw, oh, thank you, Nick! Uh, wait, you're throwing a loony at me to complete- No! <laughs> Nick, why? Oh, God. Oh, I hate that. Why are you doing this to me? I appreciate you, you jerk. <laughs> Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Intriguing. Uh, we're going to grab improved production. Why not? <laughs> Nicky rude bitch. Uh, we'll also grab a reef research station because we haven't built one of those yet. Um, and you know what? Blair suggested this. Let's build a stronghold as well. Just to Outlier be on the safe side. Identified. We found a single giant improbably complex computer system. Ooh. Oh, Rilor 6 is a valuable world. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Is Wife Fleet just filling up still? No, okay. The complex appears to be devoted solely to the computation of a single mathematical equation. The finest delta minds have gone over the problem and it's, it appears in the computer's remaining memory and have responded unanimously that the system was trying to prove that the universe was a simulation. Awkward. Portions of the complex are extensively damaged. This includes the long-term data storage blocks where any answer to this question would likely have been held. Every indication is that critical systems on the asteroid were purposefully sabotaged. Perhaps someone was not pleased with what the machine had found. Despite this, much of the, its computational power remains intact. Our work to interface with the alien device may allow us to use it as a research tool. Great. Our universe is a game? Preposterous. <laughs> yeah, preposterous. Who, who could possibly? Could never, never be a thing. Hey, we stole another dude. Where do we put him? Ground ship grunts. Nope. You're getting moved. Snack drawer. Goodbye. We need to research Ships the technology upscaled. that gives us, um, whatchamacallits. Uh, what should we take here? Actually, now that I think about it, research, happiness, research. This is a research planet? Amazing. Let's take an agriculture district. We also have more physics research. That's great. Let's take dark energy drawing just to, you know, really complete out the uh, the uh, fact that we're way ahead in one specific area. A system has been surveyed. We are now out of food, which we super care about, and have surveyed real more. If I tell you to survey, are you going to do something stupid? No. Good. Mount a graveyard expedition, and then go surveying. 
You, on the other hand, are going to go down there. All right, we're doing good. We're doing uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let's Research grab... Research um, Hello, darkness, my Upscaling old complete. What's... Wh why are you saying that? About the dark energy drawing? Because, you know, that's just kind of fun thing we're doing. Standardized destroyer patterns would be nice, because we're about to build yet another uh, fleet, this time of destroyers. Ships upscaled. And wife fleet is almost ready. A small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Interesting. Research it. Ships upscaled. All right, wife fleet is ready to go. Hey, look, some space amoebas. Let's see what happens, shall we? All righty. <laughs> We found an alien mural. Artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. Fascinating. Um, we should probably deal with some of this stuff. Market outlier identified. We came across some sort of regular irregularity. Alright, we'll look into it, I don't mind. We we can afford the time at this point. Special project actualized. The team under science Research officer, actualized. the wrecked starships on the surface were too badly damaged to recover any useful technologies. The vessels were clearly very, very advanced, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyzed the way they were designed. Okie dokie. Oh, and he became an expert in biology from that somehow. Hey, we have dark energy drawing. Great. That was quick. Let's grab, um, let's grab, uh, global energy management would be nice. We have a new tradition to unlock, Hoarders. Super cool. When does that kick in? 500, so we're already making bank. Great. Uh, hmm. You are going to go do more research. Kami No is going to do more. Alloy foundries would be good. It adds two foundry jobs. Oh, but that's it. So... Oh, but we can only make one. Let's do it. Sure, why not? We should also put a stronghold on this planet. Oh, we did. Okay, good. So now we've got some actual armies defending our our Upscaling world. complete. Um, research actualized. Built a thing. Got some research. Uh, increasing habitability would probably be good. Because I th think... Actually, we don't really need it at the moment. It's cheap, though. We may as well grab it. May as well, may as well. Um, yeah. Future market survey complete. Keep surveying. Keep going. Oh, we're out of energy. By what has to be beyond astronomical odds, the lunchbox actually managed to pinpoint the source of odd signals as it soared past through the asteroid belt. A tiny alien construct. A simple scan reveals it's some sort of ritualistic container holding the remains of an alien spacefarer. We can let the coffin continue on its voyage for 1768 society, or we can open it and study it for way more research. Boop. Research actualized. Uh, yeah, right. All uh, right, we got that research. Let's grab. Hmm. Let's grab hyperlane breach points because that will make it easy for us to uh, travel. We're on the same page, Blair. Pew, 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 pew. Get fucked, amoebas. Got him. White Fleet saves the day. Go home, White Fleet. You've earned a break. Uh, return home. And you're just going to keep bombarding. All right, we got atmospheric filtering. So next, let's grab probably hydroponics farming just to get it out of the way. We'll also grab, uh, we finished standardized destroyer patterns. That's great. Let's get ceramo metal alloys. So we increase foundry output. That's great too. Uh, oh, we have too much stuff. We need more space for people to do things on. What is this? Ground ship grunts? What are they good at? Pop growth. 
And food. Right, we're gonna turn this into a farming planet. I remember. Yeah, I did see the better mining option, but I actually want the uh, alloys more than anything because we're about to uh, get a whole bunch of destroyers going. Upscaling complete. Uh, speaking of getting a whole bunch of destroyers going, rail guns, UV lasers, uh, ceramo metal armor, improved deflectors, cold fu or fusion reactors, ion thrusters. Yeah, that's better. I Rock Your World has been replaced. Uh, we also finished the starbase down here in Oh My God Land. There's so much crap here. We have to build so much. Um, and then we're going to build a new fleet. Uh, fleet Manager. Let's reinforce all. Research actualized. And we got hydroponics. Great. Now we'll get eco simulation so that we can get more food apparently. <clears throat> we are not producing or consuming any food. But we are consuming food, Research but we're producing actualized. some? Weird. And Evading competitive fleet. Lunchbox has encountered hunter space amoebas. Oh, avoid them. And then we'll get deviancy reduction. That would be good. So these space amoebas are a problem. Good news, the fleet is right fucking here. Run, science ship, run! Research actualized. We got hyperdrive twos, that's great. Let's pick up uh, exotic materials labs for research complexes. Our foundry drones have improved. Now we'll grab improved Corvette hulls for more health. And then uh, we'll watch as uh, this happens. Hi, guys. Hope you're ready for this. Meet Wife Fleet. Beep, 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 beep. Gone. Continue returning home. The last of the primitive Zero Z has been deducted into slavery from the surface, their homeworld. Few scattered survivors might still be roaming the planet's wilderness, but not enough to maintain any kind of civilization. Great! We abducted the last of their population. Anyway, over here now. Uh, oh, and he automatically went to the snack drawer. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. Research actualized. And now we've got research complexes. That's great. Let's pick up more research speed. And research actualized. Kitchen Prime has an unemployed pop. That's no good. What are we doing at Kitchen Prime? Oh, minerals. Oh, baby minerals. Minerals for days. Love that. Love it so much. We're going to build two. Corvette hulls. Star holds would be good, but more minerals would also be... Well, we're pretty good on minerals. Let's get star holds. Uh, lunchbox. Go back to what you were doing. Research actualized. Oh, wow. We found a planet with a precursor shield. Damn. That could be good. Okay, now what? White fleet, go home, upgrade. Cortejo Coloc. Reinforce. And, uh, okay, the science expedition found precursor planetary guns. Holy shit. Taking control of them could provide ample defenses of these space lanes. The system was used strategically by its former occupants as both a defensive holdout as well as a launching point for patrol sorties. What they were defending against and looking for remains a mystery. Research option gained aerogel cooling plating. Upscaling complete. And we also unlocked um, Tur Est Desires to No Dip. Good. I love that. We've researched Unity of Purpose. Dawn of a New Era. What's this? Manifest Destiny. We are a chosen few meant to illuminate the distant corners of the dark and unforgiving universe. 
Last 23 years, monthly unity, colony, development speed, leader experience gain, terraforming speed, and mega structure build speed all increase. Plus monthly unity increases as well. Um, that's insanely good. We're going to take that I immediately. Um, go down here and build a star base. Okay. Great. What are you doing? Oh, you're researching. Okay, good. Aren't you? Yes. Alrighty. We wiped out a whole civilization. That feels pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed, you know, that we managed to do that. Like, we did good, guys. We did it. Uh, let's clear out a couple of these colossal crystals, shall we? Um... Ooh. And let's upgrade those things. Potential market survey completed. Market survey complete. Great. Upscaling complete. A small fleet of destroyed battleships has been found in the Unis system. This group of ships has most likely been damaged in ancient conflict have been floating silently through the void for several thousand years by now. Although they have sustained heavy damage, restoring them would most likely be feasible, granted we possess the technology to build our own battleships. Oh, okay. Great. They could be Evading quite useful. Competitive fleet. More space amoebas over there. More research. I really want Hyperdrive 3, because that's the cap for Hyperdrive for a while. So we're going to grab that. And Starhold means that we can now get... Oh! Aerogel cooling plating. Ship fire rate increased by 12%. That is that is really good. It's very fast. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, go explore. And... Special project actualized. Uh, we've translated the alien mural. It contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some kind of low-tech library. In dis it describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data uh, does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to discover. There's enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue our translation efforts. Wow! That is a powerful system. Hello, Hobbs. Welcome to Hobbsylvania. We are uh, we are doing okay this time. According to our scans, this asteroid's mass is curiously low. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... We have made contact with mysterious aliens. Oh, I hate that. We'll sign an envoy. Go. Uh, we somehow have dark matter technology before fusion, so that's good. Space mausoleum. Over 100 bodies line the walls of the asteroids, dressed in ornamental clothes and accompanied by a variety of apparently everyday objects preserved by the vacuum of space. Our analysis suggests that they all died over 300,000 years ago. The structure is a unique source of knowledge about this otherwise unknown alien species, their ways of life, and their physiology. We could learn a lot from this, I guess. Detritus analyzed. We analyzed some detritus. And we also completed our aerogel cooling plating. That's good. Uh, let's take mineral cutting beams so that we can cut some beams with our minerals, I think, is what that means. Oh, we're still building destroyers, too. Look at that. Fleet power is going to go way up. A system has been surveyed. Got another system. We found precursor mechs. Legions of abandoned titanic mechs stand across the surface of this world, waited to be reactivated. Their thick armor and colossal bodies suggest they may have been meant primarily for defense. Despite their advanced age, there are relatively few signs of degradation or loss of function. After careful examination, our science drones have posited that these mechs may have been destined for some type of bunker world. Given the propensity for defensive function, they may have served, made a significant impact on any battle taking place here. Uh, neat as fuck. Love that. Uh... You got your COVID booster last night. Lady Pfizer is a cruel mistress. Oh, uh, well, it's good that you got your booster, Upscaling but yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty brutal. Um, the last shot I had to get knocked me on my ass. It was intense. Um, 
I got an idea too. Potential market survey completed. Let's upgrade this. This system has been surveyed. Great. O Star Stellar Behemoth. What? A marvelous find has been made by an exploration ship currently charting out the galaxy. The vessel is reporting that the Satatani system's central star is none other than a gargantuan O class star. This extremely bright, rare, and bluish purple star is of truly gargantuan proportions and has long sterilized its surrounding planetary system. Additionally, due to the star's immense activity, solar winds are incredibly prominent throughout the entire system, which is proving detrimental to all vessels crossing through this area. However, while these kinds of stars are dangerous and short-lived, any megastructures built around them would undoubtedly have the potential to be extremely powerful, even, though those built, even more so than those built around typical B-class stars. We, however, have to be mindful that only a handful of such stars exist in our galaxy and are incredibly Ooh. valuable. Uh, wait, does this just... This has a wrecked attack moon in it. Uh, that would be cool. What uh, what's planet was that? Was it this one? I don't think it was that one. No, it's this one. Oh, jeepus. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Oh, hi, Synthetic. Wow. Research actualized. We have done a research. We got Future those cutting beams. Uh, we made first contact with Mysterious Fafa. Let's nab some of them. Get, get closer to them. Nabbing. We also get more desire in pursuit of treasure. And the last thing will be the great craving. That'll be delicious. Um, that's been surveyed. It's going to keep going. We'll do a little little anomaly research first. Uh, what else do we got going on? Lots of stuff, really. Research at research. What? Uh, extrasolar probe. We successfully recovered an object. On examination, it appears to be a weathered primitive craft designed for unmanned travel between stars. In all likelihood, it was launched millennia ago and traveled through multiple systems at sublight speed until it was caught in Quirland A's gravity. A plaque is mounted on the craft's hull, depicting odd geometric shapes, a scheme of an unidentified star system, and a pictogram of two nude members of a species unknown to us. Why any civilization would see fit to disseminate such information throughout the universe is unclear. Did I just find the Voyager spacecraft? That's really cool. Also, it gave me a ton of society research. Holy shit. Uh, research, it's French. Yeah, exactly, it's French. Research. Evading competitive fleet. There's a competitive fleet? Where? Occupation Flotilla 5K. What? Some scientists start to spread the big talk about using dark matter as some Research sort of generator. Actualized. This seems impossible. But the theory defies, uh, defiles. Not just defies, it defiles all our current knowledge of physics. We should explore all possibilities. Yeah. Uh, we got Hyperdrive 3, so we're doing pretty good. We'll get improved reactor boosters now. That'll help. Um... Dark designs, I think, is what we're looking for. Finishes on 196 months. Holy Jesus. Field of study yet to be explored, or we can steal it. it sounds like what it's doing to your knowledge of physics is inappropriate, right? It's defiling our knowledge of physics. Just really getting on in there in our knowledge of physics, which is deeply uncomfortable. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Just mm, physics. Upscaling yeah. Complete. I don't like it, chat. I don't like them defiling my physics. What did we learn? Our efforts to capture the exploratory vessel of the row aliens ended in failure. Unfortunately, we lost track of their ship. Alright, well. Doesn't matter. Try again. Singularities they defile. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of defiling Research going on around here, which I'm not a not a fan of. Um, shall we pick up cold fusion power now or plasma throwers? I do like throwing plasma. That sounds fun. Let's chuck some plasma at some people. 
Research actualized. Uh, we need more stuff here. Build two more of those. <laughs> Blair, we're on the same page! All right, let's see here. Now we can get a star fortress if we wanted. Or increase mining station output. Nah, big fortress. Big fortress. Get big. Great minds think alike. Exactly. Exactly. And fools seldom differ. Research actualized. We researched more actualize. Dawn of the new era. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Um... We'll get effective bureaucracy just for funsies. And can we activate an edict, actually? So let's uh, let's activate research subsidies, which lasts until canceled. Uh huh. And then the other thing was we could activate something called. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Learning war drone. Kotex sensor booster. Hmm. Catalog the stars. Da, da, da. What's this do? Oh, we're able to pinpoint the exact location of any star type. Oh, that's cool. You just lost an electron? You sure? I'm positive. <laughs> ugh. Why are you doing this to me? That's ugh. Oh, here it is. Manifest destiny. Let's do that. Let's manifest some destiny. Uh, that made me really upset. I just want you to know that. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Research actually. We're going to manifest the fuck out of some destiny. We got some more administrative capacity. The bureaucracy will expand to meet the needs of the expanded Market bureaucracy. Market outlier identified. Pick up Hive Nexus is next. Yeah, Hobsylvania will control the whole world. The whole world. Hobsylvania for days. Why is it going all the way up there? I don't want you to do that. Um, I want you to... We found writing. Uh, it states the first 196 digits of pi expressed in base 14. Why? That's so weird. Uh, go do this excavation. Research actualized. And we got plasma Ships throwers. Upscaled. Great. Now let's get X-ray lasers, shall we? Our efforts to decipher the signals picked up from the row aliens have paid off, and we finally made a breakthrough. While our mastery of their knowledge may not be complete, we have managed to identify them as the Han corporate holdings and are now able to communicate with them. On screen. Foreign market leaders request contact. They're ruthless capitalists. The ravening hive will be watching you. I am presiding officer Tulia Dick uh, and the wealthy Ali of the Han corporate holdings. We are always looking for new training partners and hopefully we can uh, come to some sort of accommodation that will benefit the commerce of both our nations. I'm going to eat you. Wow, we found another alien civilization. Upscaling I, uh, complete. Einstein developed... Uh, build a spy network, please. Einstein just developed a theory about space. It's about time, too. Uh, uh, why are you doing this Upscaling to me? Upscaling complete. Hey, we got a better shipyard now. Guess what we're going to immediately do with it? More shipyards. Always more shipyards. We'll also do... Uh, transit hub. Sounds really good. Research actualized. And hive nexus. Great. Ceramo metal infrastructure. Building slots plus one. Colony development speed plus 25%. Oh, that's, that's really powerful. Like, really powerful. Why would you not take that? That means new colonies grow immediately. That's really good. Speaking of new colonies, we've got a Cascadian world here. Let's colonize it, shall we? And just gonna just gonna send this before chat complains. What should we call this? Uh, what should we call our new colony? It's a Cascadian world. Anyone have any uh, strong opinions? Anyone have any uh, strong opinions about a name? 
Any names that you want for this play? Krypton, okay, uh-huh, I see Krypton. Uh, name generator's there, please, please go ahead and use it. Um, going once, going twice, going three times, Krypton. Great. Okay. We'll also colonize another world if we have any. Uh, we don't really. We've got this tomb world, which has subterranean ecosystems. That's pretty cool. Call on me? I don't get it. I'm sorry. Colony. Like colony, but call on me. Okay, I do get it. Uh, 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 uh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a tomb world because we made it a tomb world. Oopsie fucking doopsie. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, but hear me out. I didn't mean to. That was that was a ac that was a accident. Uh, research actually. Go here and build research stations so we can get. Some dark matter and energy. Outlier identified. Research this toxic and lifeless world. And we'll grab... Um, I guess farming, just to basically get it out of our pool. Can't just destroy a world and say oopsie poopsie. I didn't. I said oopsie doopsie. Upscaling complete. Completely different. And totally fine. Anyway, the great craving. We gain unity whenever a planet is colonized or conquered. Love that. What else can we take here? Anything fun? Anything good? Anything fun and good? Ooh, galactic force projection is good. Naval capacity increased, fleet command increased, and we get super scale orbital military bastions. Yeah, let's get galactic force projection, shall we? Great. Kami no, it's gonna have a hive nexus in a minute, and we'll also give it, um, an energy grid to increase energy production. Ground ship grunts. This is the planet that is pop growth. What were we doing with this? Oh yeah, this is food planet, right? Yeah, this is a food planet. So we'll add a bioreactor here. Snack drawer is also producing food. So we will also have it, oh wait, gas extraction wells. We definitely need that. Kitchen prime. Uh, we'll also have gas extraction wells, it appears. Yeah, all right. We got buildings going on everywhere. There's evidence to suggest that the current climate of uh, Pexvania 4, <laughs> like Megalovania, is the cause of a runaway greenhouse effect triggered by massive amounts of pollution. The oceans have boiled away and the planet is permanently enclosed in a dense cloud layer due to the thick atmosphere. Scattered ruins from the indigenous civilization can still be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulated culture that perished in the mid to late stages of an industrial age. What a waste! Who would do such a thing? Earth? Next planet, Geonopsis. Okay, uh, I think we're not colonizing at the moment, but we will, we will. Potential market survey uh, completed. All right, let's grab dangerous wild wildlife removal. We finished this, so we're gonna go grab uh, Carrycon. Uh, go over here, build a starbase there. All right, guys, I research think. Research actualized. I think, I think, I. Oh, wait, research, delicious research. X ray lasers, pew, pew, pew. We'll also get. Uh, we'll finally get cold fusion, sure. Just cuz. And we have star fortresses, that's great. We'll also get uh, advanced rail guns. That sounds fun. All right, everyone, I think that that is where we will end it for today. I uh, appreciate everyone being here. As always, you guys are great. I will be back tomorrow in the evening. We will probably be doing something with the gang. I'm not sure exactly what. It is technically Final Fantasy Day, and I do so very much love that. But uh, we'll see what we come up with. Anyway, uh, everyone, you are amazing and awesome, and I appreciate appreciate. I appreciate you all very much. I will. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. All right, Bibbles.